hello everyone welcome to raj bhat tech vlog so <clears throat> today i'm again going to share another video with you guys and it's been a very long time that uh, the new video is being shared so today i'm going to cover how do we create um, aws sso on azure active directory so that is for in case you have to access your aws console using the uh, azure ad accounts or on prem active directory which is integrated with azure active directory those users can access the aws using their on domain account so we are going to cover that all right so what we will do is currently i am on the aws console this is the aws console and i am on identity source basically on aws sso page let me start from scratch so let's type in sso click on this i am identity service identity center and uh, this will bring this page in front of you just click on go to settings so currently the identity source is set as aws itself but uh, we want to change it to azure so what we will do is we will click on actions click on change identity source and here we have three options identity center directory you will manage all users and group in IAM identity center user sign in through the AWS access portal if you have IAM users within AWS you can use this one and the second option is active directory this is for if you have your own AWS directory setup you can use that and users will be able to log in using the AWS uh, uh, AWS based Active Directory and the third one is external identity provider. We are going to use this external identity provider. Just click on next. Now <clears throat> this information will come in front of us. So the first one is service provider metadata. So service provider metadata is the one from AWS itself. So this is the service provider so we can just download this metadata file because this is going to be in use when we will configure the sso on azure end so this is downloaded now we have to upload the identity provided provider metadata as well so let's go to the azure and in azure let me start from here azure active directory and then click on enterprise applications then click on new applications and from here we have to select aws single sign on because we have to uh, use single sign on okay this is the one aws single sign on just click on it okay let's name it aws sso and click on create so this is going to take a couple of minutes to get completed and uh, this has been completed successfully that's it so here it is created click on this click on single sign on and click on saml so this will be the saml based authentication which is security assertion method so let's upload the metadata file first from the one we downloaded from the aws so this is the one let's upload it and click add all right so this is done and uh, just click on save all right so this is done now we have to download this metadata file for the service provider so here the service provider is aws all right so let's go to the aws and uh, Click on choose file, 
click on downloads AWS SSO it's done next all right so it is validated type in accept and change identity source all right guys so it says this is done now if you will look into it the identity source is external identity provider authentication method is this and aws access portal will be this if you will just go to this portal and will type in your domain based credentials it will be accessed now we have to do further more configurations now let's come to the provisioning get it started so provisioning means if you have to add users and security groups those will be uh, automatically synced with your aws so tenant urls and secret token we need it to uh, enable the provisioning we have to enable it from the aws side and this will give us this endpoint url which we need to punch in here in the tenant url and the secure token is here just copy it and punch in here test connections okay the connection is texted successfully so we are able to make the connection fine with the aws from the azure let's save this configuration so this is done let's go back and uh, now we will go back to the enterprise applications aws sso click on users and groups so why we are adding this user because if you want to give or uh, permission to any domain based user active directory based user on aws we can add those users directly from here so that they can provision and get synchronized with aws now click on select we have these two let's click on aws test select assign okay all right, so this is added now let's go to provisioning so let's click on start provisioning now we can start the provisioning from azure end so that it will check for the user account and start syncing those with the aws add user select this as well So this is going to take some time <clears throat> but this is the way we can create or configure aws sso on azure so hope this is going to help you guys and uh, if you like this video please share subscribe and comment thank you